Good afternoon. I'm Annalisa Gale. A historic moment now for Howard University men's basketball team as they prepare to participate in the NCAA tournament for the first time in 31 years. Lots of people excited about this big moment as they get ready to head off for the big dance. Right now they're having a send off at Howard University in front of Crampton Auditorium. Hopefully we'll have a live picture there in a second. It's right over my shoulder there. You can see it. Lots of students gathering there uh, to watch them go as they prepare for this historic moment. A lot of the team members are actually from the DMV. So exciting day for the DMV there to see them as well. The coach head coach Kenneth Blakeney has done an, a remarkable job with helping this team, leading this team into this moment. We know in 2019 he joined the team and he's been doing such a great job. He had recruited at one point a five star recruit, McCure Maker, and McCure Maker went on to uh, play for the G League with the Wizards. Well, right now, Dave Laval is out there in front of Crampton. Dave, what are you seeing? Good afternoon to you, Annalisa. I can tell you it is a festive atmosphere outside Crampton Auditorium as you have fans gathered here as the Howard Bison men's basketball team just arrived, getting ready to put their gear on the bus, board the bus for Dulles International Airport. And the first round matchup with number one Kansas in the West Regional of the Men's NCAA Basketball Tournament. Let me step out of the shot for just a moment. And right now, the crowd, excuse me, the crowd has moved over away from this celebration to greet the basketball team as they get on the bus. And again, it's going to be, they're going to head to Des Moines, Iowa, where they will play top-ranked Kansas Thursday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Howard enters the tournament as the MEAC champs with a 22-12 record. Kansas, the winners of the Big 12, come in at 27-7, and seven, the defending national champions. And it has been 31 years since the Bison have been to the NCAA tournament. And they got crushed by Kansas back then. It's the last time that the Bison advanced to the tournament. This time, though, I spoke to the players about 40 minutes ago as they wrapped up practice. It's a different atmosphere, obviously a different time. And these players today honestly believe they have what it takes to pull off the upset. And if you're wondering if a number 16 seed, which is the last seed of that region, has ever knocked off a number one, it has been five years since that happened. You may recall University of Maryland, Baltimore County took out top ranked Virginia just five years ago. Matter of fact, it'll be five years ago on Saturday that that happened. As I said, the players, they feel confident. The coach feels confident. Everyone around here, it's a different atmosphere, if you will, because of the fact that so many years ago when they were last in the tournament, it's number 16s, number 15s, even 14s, barely had a shot against the top three teams in the region. But to show how there's become parity over the years, you see a lot more 15s knocking off a number two on, on opening day. Uh, you, but you've only had that one time where a number 16 has pulled off the ultimate upset. Again, that was five years ago. The players, step out of the shot again for you. Players getting onto the bus. There is a kickoff ceremony over here and the players just dropped off their gear. We're running about 30 minutes behind schedule. The players wrapped up practice around one o'clock, grabbed a shower, changed, putting their gear onto the bus and fans gathered out here for a celebration to wish the Bison the very best. And I know one fan, one Howard University alum who wishes she was here. Gee, I wonder who we're talking about, Annalisa. 
Uh, hi, Dave. Yeah, Dave, I need you to do me a favor. Can you hear me? Can, can you hear me, Dave? Within reason. Uh, yeah, okay, so I need... Within reason, Annalise, I'll do you a favor. Okay, you need to say H-U. <laughs> you know, you need what? to say that really loud. Somebody will, will answer behind you. <laughs> H U, you know. Well, right now, if it if you got anybody dancing, it's over by the players behind me over here. Oh my you want goodness! Them dancing behind you, I can tell you that our <laughs> photographer, John Moore, was out here earlier getting some crowd shots, and I did see him with some dancers getting some video of them. So you will get your wish. As for right now, to be honest. I don't think you can pull anybody away from that kickoff celebration behind me as the players get ready to head to Dulles International Airport. Yes, Dave, you have to find me a student who, uh, who went out there today. Some of them may be skipping classes just to participate. One more time, Annalisa, say that one more time, please. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, hopefully we'll find a student soon who may be skipping class to be there for that celebration. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we'll keep our eyes and ears open for you right now. Again, stepping out of the shot, All right. the crowd is gathered around the basketball players because, you know, this is their day. This is their celebration. You know, it's been a long time. I mean, think about it. Think about it. The last time that Howard University went to the NCAA men's basketball tournament, these players weren't even born. And in some cases, you know, their parents may have been infants at that time. So it's been a long time coming. There's a lot of good feeling outside here. And, you know, everyone's over there just uh, wishing the players the very best as they get ready for their flight to Des Moines, Iowa. All right, thank you so much, Dave. And head coach Kenneth Blakeney, he played for Duke at one point in the NCAA tournament. So lots of excitement and things happening there at Howard, Howard University, especially for head coach Blakeney there. We'll have much more on this coming up in our later shows. Stay with us. You're watching DC News Now. We'll be right back.